For two years and one day, a Pawtucket man has been struggling to recover from a life-changing accident. It has left him with serious burns and the challenge of multiple surgeries, but hope is on the horizon for him and others with similar injuries. Here's Brian's story. The front of me was on fire. So I dropped down to the ground and I rolled over home. It didn't go out, so when I got up, I ripped my shirt off. And then they put me out with a fire extinguisher. And it all happened in a matter of maybe a minute. It happened so fast. On July 14th of 2009, Brian Bernard's life and appearance changed forever. A can of gasoline literally blew up in Brian's arms while he was trying to start the engine of a machine. The gas ignited and it splashed onto Bernard's upper body and face burning over 35% of his upper body. The first two weeks, I don't recall, I was um, so heavily medicated. Um, but after that, the, uh, the nurses were awesome. They, that was the best experience through the whole thing. You know, they, they really took care of me. Brian has undergone six surgeries already, and he will have a seventh operation later this month. People have to, they just don't realize what a burn patient goes through. They just stare at you. But it's like whatever, you know, you just kind of brush it off. But. I was telling Brian just earlier and Don just before I came in, what's great about bone care is the fact that you get a chance to see people for a long time. Brian and I have known each other for two years, and I've got to see him change in the last three or four months where things start, where he's starting to see that things are going to return to somewhat more normal. You can see a little bit more spirit in his eye, a little bit more sparkle in his eye, and that was lacking for the last year or so. In the beginning, it was tough. It was uh, every day, just wake up one day at a time. It was a routine. <laughs> so, it's just routine. You get up in the morning, just start stretching, you know, work my hands, stretch my sides, and go to therapy. You know, I was doing that three times a week in the beginning. Team Jimmy D was a group that helps raise money for burn victims like Brian, and Team Jimmy D is something Dr. Harrington is very grateful for. We have a um, SOAR program which has peer counselors um, that allow people to come in to talk to patients during the acute burn course. Uh, one of the things that I think Brian just pointed out as well is this idea that having a peer support group that could meet weekly or monthly. So I would love to be able to meet that need. And the idea of raising funds for those kind of needs is exactly what I need to do to be able to take the next step and just uh, for me to evolve my burn center to the best it can be. Looking back, you know, when you first start out and you just say to yourself, it's like, wow. What's, what's going to happen to me, you know? My hands were hurting so bad. My body couldn't move. And now look at me, you know? I'm cutting the grass. <laughs> and joining me now is the founder of the Jimmy D Foundation, Aaron Varga, along with Burn Camp Director Frank Zavos. And good morning to both of you. Thanks for coming in this morning. And we'll start with you. And tell us how you uh, had the idea to start this. Um, well, my father passed away seven, it will be seven years in September. He was killed in a house fire. And I was a runner before that, and he would always support my runs. And I actually was signed up to run the New York City Marathon at the time. So I was signed up before my father's death. And then when he died, my training kind of got put to the side. And I decided, you know what, why don't I just, I need to do something to get my brain and my mind just back together. So. About a month after his death, which was in October, a month before the race, I said, you know what, I'm going to run this. I'm going to send out letters and see if I can raise some money for burn survivors. So I sent out a bunch of letters to just friends and family explaining the story, which obviously most of them obviously already right. knew. And I raised over $5,000 wow. in that month. And it just kind of went from Snowball there. Snowball from yeah. there. Your father was a firefighter. And Frank, tell us more about this camp, which is located in Union, Connecticut, right? Yes. And how it works. Yes, right, Patrick. Um, well, we, yes, we, uh, we deal with uh, young burn victims, ages 8 to 18. And uh, the kids come from all over the east, uh, from Maine to Florida. Uh, this year we do have a child from Rhode Island. Um, throughout all those New England states. And in the camp is free to the children and no charge. It's a basic summer camp. Um, 
but the difference is every child there has severe burn injuries. So we feel that the, uh, the commonality they have with that, uh, they very quickly become very comfortable with each other, they bond, and maybe for the first time since their injuries, uh, they're not so concerned about what they look like right. and their scars. Nobody asks, nobody cares. We want to show them that there's life after your burns, you can lead, lead a successful life. How will the money from uh, the race help the camp out, the money that's raised? Well, of course, I mean, you know, Aaron's been a great uh, crusader of ours and fundraiser, uh, doing many things from the running and golf tournaments and all different kinds of great things. Uh, yeah, it will go to help to support the camp. It costs about $2,500 per child. Uh, to bring them up there, and um, so it goes a long way. All right, Aaron, you're running, right? And you need more runners, right, and volunteers to help yes. you uh, raise as much money as possible. How do people get involved? Yeah, well, they can get involved by um, going to our website, which is um, www.jimmydfoundation.org, and all of our information about our foundation, um, about my father's life, and about the Providence Half Marathon, including volunteering, are all on that w are all on our website. JimmyDFoundation.org. Yes. How's the training going? Training's going well. All right. Frank, you running? <laughs> I wish I were. No, yeah. I'm not. I'm going to cheer for her. Yeah, I'll be cheering as well. Frank and I golf. There, there you go. If there's a golf tournament, though, that I can we help you out, let you, you know. let me know. We were all just right. talking about that. Right. So. We'll, be, we'll be there. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming in this morning. Good luck with uh, raising the money and running in the race and at the camp as well. For uh, more information on the Providence Rock and Roll Half Marathon or for more information on the event and the camp, head to our website, foxprovidence.com.